Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today we're gonna to do something completely different. If you have a homestead, if you have a farm, then you have flies. There's just no other way around it. You've got flies and you struggle every year trying to figure out what to do with them, how to minimize uh, the abundance of flies around your homestead. You have farm animals, you have chickens, and with farm animals and chickens come waste products that flies breed in and you've got flies. So. The last five years or so, you know, we've done the normal things. We've had fly traps up, fly strips up, um, you know, the little baggy things that, that stink. Uh, we've tried that. We've tried even, I mean, there's been all kinds of things we've tried, <clears throat> some kind of unorthodox even. But every year it seems like we're struggling with flies. The flies get in the house uh, because we have chickens that run around our house. And uh, so it just keeps the flies around. And I like the fact that we have chickens running around our house because really they're um, kind of a patrol uh, keeping insects at bay. In fact, I've made the point many times in our videos that compared to living in the city, we have way less insects inside of our house, crawling insects, not flies, but crawling insects around the house, less spiders, less all kinds of creepy crawlies that come into the house during the winter months or when it gets cold because the chickens are constantly on patrol and anything that moves literally the chickens eat, even mice. Sometimes chickens will eat mice. So you have less mice in the house, even though we've had mice at some times in the, in, in, that get in the house. Either way, when we're struggling with flies, we decided to just go ahead and try something new this year. This right here is a, called a solar fly trap. It's made by a company called Arbico Organics. Arbico Organics, it's called a solar fly trap. And basically what you do is they send you a bait that you, you mix it with water. It's made basically of yeast and a type of sodium bicarbonate. And you put it inside of a gallon jug and you shake it up and you kind of leave the top open because it's going to be off gassing. And within a week or so, whoo, just touching that makes it smell. It's going to be really, really ripe. And so that's what this is right now. It's really, really ripe. And both of these... Um, what you do is there's bowls inside of here and you fill the bowl and every week or so you kind of top it off and add more. And the more you add over time it just gets riper and riper and draws in more flies. And what you have is this, the flies get in through the bottom, they go up through this cone that's inside and they can't get out. And so basically they die in there, there's no way to get out, they die. And at the end of, I don't know, a certain period of time you can empty the bowl and then take all of the jumble of flies that are in here and feed them to your chickens. The chickens love it. Now, I have looked at many different contraptions when it comes to fly catching, and there's lots of do-it-yourself projects out there, and I really researched this a lot, and I found no better review than these things. These reviews online by people who've used them, farmers, ranchers, homesteaders, are phenomenal. Now, they are going to set you back a little ways. They're about $86 a piece for one trap and one bait kit. So, $86. Bucks. So, it's pricey. But, I'm telling you, the reviews on these are spectacular. So, we're going to give it a try. We're going to let we're gonna get, give it a go and see how it works out during the summer and see if it helps with our flies. We're going to take one of these. We're going to put these over by the animal area, uh, just outside the animal area, because there's a lot of flies that gather over there. And reducing the amount of flies for our animals, the animals will appreciate that. Also, then we're gonna, which is not that far from the house, and then also we're gonna take one and put it behind the house by the woodshed. And there's a lot of chickens that gather there. Sometimes we throw lots of scraps from the kitchen there, and so the chickens gather there. They're always eating our scraps, and they're also pooping there a lot, which creates a lot of flies. So I think between those two areas, that should really reduce the amount of flies for our two houses here, and we'll see if it makes an impact. Obviously, we'll continue to use fly strips and other things like that that we use throughout the summer, but we'll see if this makes a dent. So we're gonna go set these up right now. Come over and I'll show you. Okay, so here's an inside look at this. You remove the lid off the top and you have the cone inside and below the cone you have this bowl. And so what you do is you take the, the concoction, the mixture that you've made with the yeast powder and uh, the carbonate sodium bicarbonate mixture, and after it's been cooking for about seven days, at least a week or so, in warm weather, you go ahead and pour that down here into the bowl and fill it, I don't know, about halfway, three quarters of the way up, I guess, and then replace the lid back on, and what happens is, yeah, I'll put that back on there for a second. Oh, 
there. What happens is the flies fly in through the bottom and they go up through the cone and then they can't get out and they're stuck and they die a horrible, painful, screaming, but for us, joyous <laughs> death. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna go set this out here. So here's where we're gonna set this. The cow's coming over to take a look and she's interested in what we're doing. So um, what we're gonna do is take the lid off here. There's actually some sheep poop right here, so that'll help draw the flies in anyway. Ah, I know. She, she's not gonna like the smell of this I'm bedding. I'm hoping they'll leave it alone. They do have some clips on the bottom here if you wanna like stake it down, but the holes are really small, so you have to have some really small stakes. She just wants to check everything out. So now we're gonna pour this mixture in here. It's pretty level here. But this is a good distance between where the animals spend a lot of time and then the houses. So it's about even distance there and back. So hopefully a lot of the flies over there will draw this way. A lot of the flies over there will draw this way and we'll catch a big catch. And what that means is a lot of food for the chickens. This stuff really stinks. Here, want a whiff? She's like, ugh, ah, what do you have there? What is that? She's like, what is that? All right, here we go. If you spill some on the ground, no big deal. That'll just bring the flies in. So we're gonna put that right there. When I had this open on the deck earlier, the flies were like loving it. So now we'll go ahead and put this. Oh, she is like, what did you put in my nose? What is that? But needless to say, the animals probably won't mess with this and knock it over. There you go, I can see flies already. Look at the flies already. This is amazing. All right, let's go set the other one up. So here's our next location. Actually, just right over here, there's a bunch of chickens eating some of our scraps that we threw out. So this is a great place to put out the next trap. Here comes the cat. Let's see if she has the same reaction as the cow. Come here. <laughs> she shook her head. Anyway, so uh, uh, the cat and the cow do not like this stuff. It really, really stinks. So um, it's good to shake it up, you know, get it all dispersed in there. It's going to off gas. Ooh, it stinks. And uh, this one, the lid was a little tight, so I'm just going to leave the lid on it and just pour it right down through the screen. You can do that if you want. And just, it'll get right in the bowl. And again, if you spill a little bit, no big deal. It's fine. Uh, the flies are going to love it. But this is a good area. It's, the house is right there, the house is right there, and so the outdoor kitchen is over here. Hopefully this will draw the flies in uh, from the whole area here and keep the flies uh, from coming in the, the houses when the doors are opened and just reduce the amount of flies in general. I'll go ahead and say that Arbico Organics did not give us these. Uh, we bought these on our own. You know, they are a little bit expensive. And um, so, you know, I, we're just doing an honest review, completely honest review on this, and we'll let you know how it works out. But again, the reviews so far on these from other people who have purchased them are excellent. So we're going to go ahead and see how it works out. I want to smell that. You want to smell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh! It doesn't have to be in the sun, guys. Uh, they can, they, it can, in fact, they say that sometimes if it gets too hot in the sun, the flies will stay away because the metal's hot. But, uh, so it's good to have it a little bit of shade, you know, here and there throughout the day if it has it. Uh, that'll have a little bit of shade over there, not much, but this will have more shade. But the flies are still reactive, they'll, they'll find this. And I can already see the flies are gathering already. There's a fly right there. Some more, yeah, they're coming in. They're smelling it. So, all right, guys, we'll let you know how it works. See you next time on the homestead. Look at that. I'm bad. How did you You couldn't get kill inside? that many flies in a day. I got them in, you know, 15 minutes. Not those big ones. The bottom. They go through the bottom, they can't get out.